Okay, so we add some effect, like right here we add some shadows and burn, and sometimes you maybe want to add a little bit more kind of effect on the burns and shadows, but without painting, kind of more based on original shadows. So to do this, we're actually going above and right here our layers we was working before, We'll create a new on top and you can do this by pressing shift ctrl alt and e at the same time next what i'm going it is going image adjustment and i'm going to convert this to black and white as i convert to black and white what i want to do i want to bring reds up high so i want to don't know if it that much on the skin as well as a little bit better more on the yellow but take a blues kind of and magnet it down so this is a bit darker here right here is our black and white let's do next one convert adjustment and work a little bit on the shadow and highlights so we'll take our shadows to flatten them and we'll take also look on little bit highlights and you know just maybe adjust around this area so let's click ok this moment we can also go and switch now to the soft light so right here we add little bit more highlights and shadows to specific areas this tool also can use it as a sharpening tool if you watch our other tutorials about sharpening and right here you can notice on the bottom it's what happened is kind of add more sharpening effect you can remove this by applying a blur tool we'll go to Gaussian blur and we can apply to this a little bit more to smoother to you know about six around that area which is also will smooth some skin effect okay we can let's look on a hard light which is give it a little bit more effect on the burning but well, for this I want to just stay with soft light Again, I don't want to apply to everything. I want to apply just to the options. For this, we'll need to create um, another mask. Control I to invert, and just by using brush with white, we can start increasing size. Let's make it very low opacity, and right here I can apply this to just specific areas. For example, if I want make a little bit smoother around neck, let's get quite a bit closer and maybe right here a little bit more. But I do not want touch on a hair yet, but right here maybe. Okay, let's increase slightly. Just a little bit smooth out in this area. Again, we can see before and after. We don't want to have a too dramatic effect, but it is kind of applying and give it over the all shadows and uh, base it on the image itself. You can go, if you work with a male model, you can have a very grungy look by doing the same thing. So only instead blurring, you just leave it as is and applying. This will create quite a bit grungy effect. So like me, let me show you as example. Okay. So we'll go create new layer. And if we do same things, image adjustment, we'll go to black and white. We'll just add a little bit more right here you can notice the tone is what I'm looking so I actually decrease yellow and it's what I will do if I work with the male models as well we can actually right now go convert this to soft light so make a little bit easy to look after when we work on our shadows and highlights so you can see right here we'll bring a little bit more shadows And maybe okay, 
Okay, so we have this dimension right here. And if you like this way a little bit more, you can leave it again. Here one a little bit more smoother on the skin. Or right here a little bit more look a grinchy. Again, um, I like to do this in small steps. It will help me to going to specific look. So overall it is, um, but if you wanted to, you can create very dramatic look by increasing and creating quite a bit um, intensive look in this way. Okay, so also other things still right here, you can, you remember you always can go apply sharpener effect with unsharp mask. Just be sure you go very high up. In this case, it's, let's look closer. You'll see what's happening. Right here, you see how it's add all this effect okay, before and after. So again, with increasing sharpness, what I say, if you want to do this, you do more on a male models and you will have this kind of grainy type roughness applied to that. So thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.